Skills shortages in the STEM sector cost the UK economy £1.5 billion each year. Teesside University is working to bridge this gap in the bioscience sector by investing in new facilities and education programmes. Carolyn Sim visited their National Horizon Centre to meet some of the new generation of biologists. These biology graduates are entering the world of bioscience at an exciting time. The bioscience sector, which includes food, pharma and digital sectors, is undergoing a huge transformation and is set to boost the UK economy. At Teesside University's Darlington campus, the National Horizon Centre is a UK centre of excellence for the bioscience industry, which has placed itself at the heart of this change. Students have access to some of the most technologically advanced training and research facilities in the country. There are three strands to the National Horizon Centre. The, the first and the extremely important one is obviously the education, the learning, the training. So we want to develop the bright young things of the future so that they make sure that they're, they're ready to go into industry, but they're, they're ready in terms of their skills, their knowledge, their capability. Research is the other key strand in relation to this, so we want PhD students working with us, again, researching, embedding that into practice. And then the third strand is our relationship with industry and very much helping them in their continuing professional development, so helping them develop their talent, their workforce, but also embrace new ideas, new, new ways of working, new ways of thinking. The instrumentation here is the latest industrial standard, from microscopes to bioreactors and even 3D imaging. It allows students to undertake ambitious, varied and industry-relevant research projects. PhD student Rochelle Hockney is researching a condition called chorioamnionitis, which can cause preterm birth. She's working in partnership with local hospitals, which provide case studies and share results. It's so unique to be able to come to just one building on one campus for one university that has got so much equipment. It's got the multiomics technology where you can come and do your genomics, your proteomics, your metabolomics, and you can do everything from start to finish. You can do the development, the optimization, and the performance all yourself. There are some 500 bioscience employers in the Tees Valley. The National Horizon Centre is developing relationships with them to drive the industry in the region. One of the things we always hear is there are shortages of skills. And having a centre like this where you can train people in really good quality, advanced uh, jobs, meaning that those businesses can access the skills so they can compete not just nationally but internationally is going to be essential if we're going to grow what is a £230 billion industry into the UK into a potentially north of uh, £500 billion industry. Lecturers here also carry out advanced research and hope to bring their ideas to market. Dr Safwan Akram researches the development of low-cost diagnostics. If these sort of centres keep on getting the required funding, UK definitely is very well positioned to lead the way in terms of next generation therapies. And this centre has a pivotal role to play, not only in the northeast but for the rest of the country in terms of biological processing. You are getting prepared into the world of research as well as teaching. So I think that is what the university is giving you an opportunity to get yourself out into the world. I think uh, working in this lab can open your way, you know, for us to work in any type of industries in the future. They get you into, I mean, various training programs and they send you to various conferences where you can get hands-on experience. And I think these things not only prepare you to work in the lab here, but also help you flourish as a scientist. The National Horizon Centre believes it's a catalyst for the region. It wants to expand, seek out collaboration locally, nationally and internationally and invest in academic excellence. So it's industry, it's academia and it's talent and young talent and research coming together. And when that works, it works beautifully.